Hello lovelies and welcome to the channel. Yes, today I have a very quick art journal page for you. Um, this isn't actually very new. This is, I probably did this a couple of weeks ago, but this was um, a, just a video of me playing with some new toys. So this was, I think, the day I got the Collage Collective and also um, a few new stamp sets as well. And I just wanted to play, so I pulled out my 100 day journal and because I didn't really have any inks or any plan or anything, literally sitting right in front of me, are my Tombow markers. So I thought I'd have a play with those. And I had seen this really cool technique where you use um, a small gel plate and some Tombow markers and a bit of water. So I wanted to give it a go. And um, yeah, I really like how it uh, works out. It's sort of like the packaging technique, I guess, but you know, using a squishy gel plate instead. At least I'm using my mini gel plates now. I've only used, I think, the circle out of this three set. So at least I'm, you know, getting a use out of it. And this was just a play. All I wanted to do was play. So my Tombow markers, I'm discovering them, I guess, rediscovering them maybe. Um, and you know, all the water reactive properties that you can do with these things. So there's a few, actually I haven't done it in this journal, but in my journal journal, um, my daily journal, I, um, it's not really a daily journal. It's my creative journal. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. The word I'm looking for. Um, you know, I've scribbled them straight onto the page and activated them with water. I haven't done that in this journal yet, but yeah, so I've, um, I've been playing with my Tombow markers a little bit, um, trying to find, you know, new ways to use them, I guess, than just your average, yeah, anyway, so um, these are some of the new stamp scents I got as well. So literally, I'm just playing with all new things. You know me, if it's on my desk, I'm more likely to use it. And I received a package that had um, some new stamps and the Collage Collective in it. So I just wanted to play with them. Um, I'm using my Jumbo Archival ink pad that sits next to me on the left. And then I'm using the Tombow markers on my stamps as well. Like I said, if it's in within arm's reach, I'm more likely to use it. So that's what this page is all made up of. New toys and things that are just on my desk. So I'm just, yeah, going to town. Like I said, I had absolutely no plan for this page. It was just um, playing with, with bits and pieces and new things. Do you ever get of like new toys like new stamps or new stencils and just want to play with them right away I do all the time so when I get um new new media or new stamps or something I have to test them out <laughs> and that's how this page came about this stamp I love I wasn't sure I thought it would look a little weird just being in the middle of the page but oh my goodness I love it this is from um one of the new Tim Holtz mark maker stamps it's just like a scribbly line but oh I just it's so random, but I love it. I love how it turned out on the page. So I'm in love with this book. I need another one. One's not going to cut it. And yeah, it's it's so much fun. I've used it a few times now. And the best part is you can even use the offcut. So I'm, I'm cutting out this figure here. And um, the scraps that are left over, I use on another page. I use them as collage photo. And yeah, it, it's really cool. So it's, it's, yeah, it's definitely worth the money. But if you get one, you're going to need more than one. So this turns into sort of another video, like another page. So I have my little figure and it's got some red and purple in it. And I was trying to bring some red into the other page because I wanted to have a bit of contrast. But in my Tombow markers, I just didn't have the right red. So I'm testing out these colors, um, my Tombow markers on the other page because, you know, nothing goes to waste and it's given me another background if nothing else turns out I don't really have a true red they're all pinky reds so in the end I just smush around some more um Tombow marker and just finish off that page with my my gel plate and just not worry about adding any red to the left hand side then I'm going to adhere down my uh, my little figure um, I have a problem with floating figures I don't like them floating so I tend to anchor them to the top or the bottom or the side so yeah, maybe I need to, to learn to extend figures and draw my own figures, but you know, that's, that's for another day. But then of course, just add some shadow and detail so it doesn't look so flat like I stuck it on the page. Got my lovely um, Stabilo oil pencil, just drew around it and now I'm just water activating that. And I think that's pretty much gonna be it for this page. I think I put a sticker down there with some words on it, but that's pretty much it. Like I said, 
just wanted to play with some new toys. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. It was a nice quick one today and I might even show you a picture of what I did on the other page because I don't think I actually filmed that process and I love how it turned out. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll be back real soon with a new video. Bye for now.